Hey Cleveland.com, meteorologist Kelly Rudin here. On the radar this week, we're talking snow. More specifically, how it can fall in above freezing temperatures. You may think it's too early to begin thinking about snow. After all, it's only fall. But four years ago, we got our first snow on October 24th, and this week, snow is in the forecast for areas of the Central Plains. So with temperatures finally cooling down, it's only a matter of time before we welcome snow back to Northeast Ohio. Interestingly enough, we won't exactly have to wait for sub-freezing temperatures for that to happen. Here's how. Snow initially forms when the atmospheric temperature is at or below 32 degrees and there's a minimum amount of moisture in the air. Even if the temperature at the ground is above freezing, that snow can still fall and reach a surface. The conditions have to be just right. As the snowflake falls into a warmer layer closer to the surface, it will begin to melt. Melting leads to something called evaporative cooling, which is the cooling effect you feel when water evaporates off your skin after a shower or a dip in the pool. That effect dips the temperature of the air immediately surrounding the flake, slowing the process of melting, giving the flake time to hit the ground. There's a limit to the warmth though. The general rule is if the ground temperature is over 41 degrees, snow will not accumulate. 